Hey guys, so today I want to talk about iOS 18.5. This software update has now been out for nearly one week and as per usual, I always like to come back with a follow-up video to talk about the latest iOS releases for iPhones. Now, iOS 18.5 was released five days ago as of the filming of this video. It was released on May 12th. Today is the 16th, as you can see right there, so five days. Let's talk about the software. I want to talk about the performance, the battery life, any bugs and issues, but I also want to talk about security for those of you still waiting to update to ios 18.5 if you haven't updated your device just yet let me show you one thing here so this is apple's website this is the about security content of ios 18.5 and iPad OS 18.5. Now, if you haven't updated your iPhone and your iPads, I highly recommend you do, as Apple is adding over 30 security patches to iOS and iPad OS 18.5. Again, over 30 security patches being put in place. So if you're still waiting to update to iOS 18.5 or iPad OS 18.5, I highly recommend you do. Now, for those of you with iPads running iPad OS 17, alongside iOS 18.5, Apple also released iPad OS 17.7.7 for iPads running iPad OS 17. And now, Apple has removed that software update temporarily. We're not exactly sure why, but those security patches will most likely be put in place here in the next couple of days with iPad OS 17.7.7 re release. We'll talk about that once it becomes available but again ipad os 18.5 is available with security patches for ipads running ios and ipad os 18.5 now let's talk about some of the bugs because i know a lot of you guys are wondering is there any bugs and any issues now throughout the entire beta coverage you guys already know i talked about how smooth the operating system is everything is running buttery smooth i haven't encountered any app crashing or any issues in terms of performance everything is buttery smooth from control center to launching apps to scrolling everything like that now there's two minor bugs that i've encountered on ios 18.5 now one of those is a rotation lock bug so sometimes when i go to watch a YouTube video if I go ahead and unlock rotation when I go to watch the video it would put the video upside down again one minor bug here with rotation lock it's happened every single day after updating I don't mind it as much because once I rotate my iPhone again it actually goes into the right orientation now I also encounter one minor freezing issue with the camera on iOS 18.5 initially when I first updated but I went ahead and quit the camera application and relaunched it and never again did I encounter any additional bugs with the camera application let me know in those comments down below if you're having any issues with the camera now I know a lot of you guys always ask in regards to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth again I'm happy to report that Wi-Fi is working fine Bluetooth is working great as well no lag no issues there to report now the one thing I do want to talk about is the YouTube community poll because this is where you guys also vote and provide your feedback on the latest updates and of course the question this week was how is iOS 18.5 working for you? Now we have nearly 2,000 votes. You see there 1,900 votes and a whopping 74% say you're having a great experience with iOS 18.5. Now we have 20% of you guys saying that it's okay, but there's still some minor bugs. And then we have a 6% that say you're having a terrible experience. Now I wanna talk about the iPhone 15 Pro Max here in just a couple of seconds. I've heard some of you guys are overheating when trying to charge your device. Let's take a look at some of the comments here on this YouTube community poll. You see here that most of the comments say that the operating system is very smooth, very fast. One of the best operating systems or updates to iOS 18 ever since the official first beta. I have to agree with that comment there. But take a look right here. Some of you guys are saying the iPhone 15 Pro Max for some users is overheating when charging, as you can see right there. Now, I have to say that I haven't encountered any issues when charging, any overheating issues when charging the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I've been testing this device over the past several days as well. Although my iPhone 16 Pro Max is my primary, I constantly switch back and forth. And I haven't encountered any overheating with iPhone 15 Pro Max on iOS 18.5. So let me know if you're having any overheating issues if you do own the iPhone 15 Pro Max and are running the latest 18.5. Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about the battery because obviously if you still haven't updated to iOS 18.5, then you may want to know how's the battery life. And the first thing I wanna talk about
about is battery health. So when I updated to iOS 18.5, I did drop a 1%. You see there that the maximum capacity is at 99 for the battery health on this iPhone. You see there the cycles, and of course, that is normal peak performance. Now, in terms of overall everyday battery life, I have to say it's pretty consistent. I've been getting a lot of hours of on-screen time, as you can see right there. So overall, battery life has been great with iOS 18.5. So for those of you who have yet to update to iOS 18.5, keep in mind that the software is running pretty smooth for most users. Battery life, in my opinion, is excellent. And of course, we have a lot of security patches in place. And there you guys have it. Let me know what you think about this software update in those comments down below. Thank you for watching this update video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.